morning and welcome to Toronto Union Station for a ride aboard Ontario's Go Transit. But maybe they'll see me. Oh, we'll see. There we go. Let's go here. And then let's do mill. Let's just go like this and then go down. Let's find it here. There we go. Uh, oh, Minikin. Oh, okay. Except. Uh, yeah. you do one trip. Do you want to return? Uh, you could just do single ride and then. You know, Starting here at Union Station and right up to Yeah. Go Transit is a regional rail and bus service that serves a large part of the Greater Toronto Area in the province of Ontario, Canada, where roughly one quarter of Canada's population lives. The rail system is one of the most used in North America and has seven different lines covering hundreds of kilometers of track, all centered on and running through Toronto Union Station. The system first started up as a provincial government pilot project in the late 1960s, and GO actually stands for Government of Ontario. The initial test route was the populous Lakeshore Corridor between Hamilton and Pickering. However, new routes, such as the Stovall Line that we're riding today, were added to the north and west over the years. The extremely popular nature of the service meant eventually adopting large double-decker trains made by Bombardier in Thunder Bay, Ontario, operating in a push-pull configuration with diesel locomotives. These cars are now basically the standard North American commuter rail coach, and GO has a fleet of nearly 1,000 of them. In the 1990s, GO built its own entirely dedicated tracks to the east of the region on the Lakeshore East Line, and from then on has slowly bought up more and more of the tracks it runs on from freight rail companies. This has allowed GO to run all-day train service on five of its seven lines, a separate express rail service to Toronto Pearson Airport, as well as limited services to as far away as London and Niagara Falls. GO is also undertaking the biggest regional rail modernization program in the Americas, unlike anything going on on the other commuter rail networks in the US and Canada, with the five aforementioned all-day corridors being electrified, as well as treated with new grade separations, with big new bridges and tunnels, and beautiful new stations all to enable eventual service every seven minutes or better across much of the network. Because the, the plan with the electrification at higher frequency is they're going to run like four car trains. Because the, the, they're going to run every ten minutes. That's the VFN. Yeah. So you can tell this car has been reverb. Well, this is the back end, not the front end. You can see all the roots. So these platforms, as you can see, are quite narrow, so the construction there, they're starting to build new wider platforms. Oh.
please, no, no, no! Yeah, true. Street go. Old signal tower. Uh, keep filming though, because we're about to go over a river. It's kind of cool. You'll get a view up the valley. Okay. Oh, yeah. Got some go train over here. Nope. Yep. <laughs> So 
So this is actually it's cool. Little power plant. Alright. So all of this uh, cell storage is going to be towers soon. Nice. Uh, Sir? <laughs> you like this stuff? Alright guys, thanks for watching the video and if you like that Go Transit video, you can subscribe to the channel and watch over there my latest video, all the new ones.